I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. This one's wife, who drives with a ceramic coffee mug. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Let us imagine for a moment that you didn't know that this one's wife is a narcissist. Let us imagine that you'd seen some of her unusual and unpleasant behaviours, but not the whole raft that we're familiar with. Let us say that she's only recently come on the scene. You've seen some of the behaviours, the propensity for the weird grin that you see that she laps it up when she's attending events. You've noticed that she has a propensity to push in front of people and steer her husband around. But beyond that, you've not necessarily seen years of this behaviour that we have done already. And then you see that she's photographed in a Range Rover, gurning away with a rictus grin, but driving, holding a ceramic coffee mug. And naturally, being a ordered thinking individual that you are, you must be. You're watching my videos. You think to yourself, who on earth drives around with a ceramic coffee mug? First of all, you perhaps ought not to drive at all holding something. But if it's an automatic, then maybe if you had a covered cup that, for instance, you would get from Starbucks or Costa Coffee, something like that, or you have one of those metallic coffee um, cups that has a covered lid that you sip from, that, yeah, you might have that. But actually driving along holding a cup which isn't covered where you're swerving and stopping and accelerating and perhaps driving over bumps, etc., you're going to spill it. What on earth are you doing? How strange. Now, if you didn't know what this one's wife is, you perhaps just think that she was something of a plonker, that she was a bit silly for doing this. But then, you see, this is the beauty of understanding that she is a narcissist. It enables you to interpret everything she says, everything that she does, through the prism of her narcissism vis-a-vis -vis interactions with other people. As I've explained many times before, and will do so again to drive home the message, if I'm on my own and I pour myself a lovely drink of ice-cold Voss mineral water, I've done that because I'm thirsty. I'm staying hydrated. My girlfriend comes running into the kitchen after having been for a jog, and she's perspiring, and I pour a drink for her. On the surface, that looks like I'm being kind. But because I'm a narcissistic psychopath, you know that the reason that I've done it is to assert control over her with a benign act and to draw fuel from her by way of her response. If two or three of my friends happened to be visiting, and she came in from running, and I poured her a drink in front of them. I'd be asserting control over her benignly. I'd be asserting control over them by management of my facade, by looking like a caring boyfriend. And I'd be drawing fuel from, fuel from all of them, from the intimate partner primary source and the non-intimate secondary sources, all responding to me pouring that water. If my girlfriend returned from a jog and I stood there and glugged the whole cylinder of Voss in front of her, leaving her thirsty so she got upset, I triangulated her in a malign fashion with the bottle of Voss to prompt a reaction from her, giving me negative fuel and demonstrating she's under control. If she responds by saying you are to wanker and shoves me, then that's challenge fuel. I've got fuel from her, but she's threatening my control, and I would have to move to a different type of behaviour to get that control again. But the point is, my action of pouring that water, the driver behind it depends upon, is it simply an act for me, or am I interacting with other people? And if I'm interacting with other people, it's the driver is my narcissism vis-a-vis -vis the prime aims. Thus, you're able to understand 
that if this one's wife got a mug of coffee and sat at home drinking it by herself, she's doing that because she wanted a mug of coffee. But when she gets into a car and drives around, having already tipped off back grid, as we know that she does, you now know that because of her narcissism, what you're seeing is this. First of all, the need to be photographed driving around as part of a facade of superiority, look at me in my SUV. Secondly, the necessity of drawing fuel from the fact of being photographed and thought fuel from the contemplation of these pictures ending up in the press somewhere with people commenting about them. Thirdly, the fact that she holds that drink with a coffee mug either shows a lack of accountability because she's driving, holding something which you ought not to be holding when you're driving, or that she actually doesn't have anything in it, so it's not actually going to cause a problem with the driving, but it's an affectation to make her seem like she's relatable and homely by, look at me, I drink coffee too. It's part of the act. Of course, once again, because she's a bit useless, what it actually does is not so much make her look relatable, but makes her look like a goon, because you're, people are left thinking... Why on earth are you driving around with an open mug? That's dangerous, hazardous, and stupid. Thus, it just results in more criticism of her. But as you know, her narcissism is focused on getting a reaction and isn't necessarily thinking about what's going to happen next. The fact that you know that this one's wife is a narcissist enables you to answer that question. Who on earth drives around with a ceramic coffee mug? Well, I know that this one's wife does so because she needs to get a reaction. She needs fuel. She needs to control people. She's got no accountability for her behaviour, hence her doing something potentially hazardous. She's exhibiting her sense of entitlement. And thus, you have all of the answers for this ridiculous behaviour. If she were not a narcissist, then the conclusion would be that there's someone who's up somewhat careless. It's not been done necessarily for attention. But because you know that she's a narcissist, that enables you then to interpret her behaviour through the relevant prism. And this is so important. Time and time again, people, even when they know they're dealing with a narcissist, still interpret the behaviour from their perspective, not that of the narcissist. And that leads them to problems. You need to remember... I know this person is a narcissist, therefore whatever they do in relation to me or another person is driven by the prime aims. They're seeking control or nullifying threats to control. They may well also be likely seeking fuel. They are possibly seeking character traits and residual benefits. It's not kindness. It's not being supportive. It's not being compassionate. It's not being fun. It's not being loving. That's just the gloss that appears on the surface of it. This isn't this one's wife being a bit kooky driving along with an open ceramic coffee mug. This is a narcissist seeking control, drawing fuel, showing a lack of accountability and a sense of entitlement. As she triangulates, those taking the photographs and the general viewership with her in a car with a mug. And thus, once again, you get the brilliant analysis, breakdown of why this person behaves as they do. And armed with this knowledge from my many, many videos, not just about this one's wife, but covering all manner of facets of the narcissistic dynamic and aspects of the way that the narcissist behaves, you get the answers to all of those questions that you have about why did this person behave in the way that they did now that I know that they are a narcissist. And that is the beauty of my work. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.